Lady Kagaya's first battle has finally arrived. After taking down Bai Hong Lai, Lin Luo led Lady Kagaya to a villa area. He looked thoughtfully at the house in front of him. As one of the hall masters of the Eight-Headed Assembly, Bai Hongya's death is bound to cause a huge uproar, with the Eight-Headed Assembly busy tracking down the murderer. Wen Yusi should be safe for now, Lady Kagaya, standing by, curiously said. Is Wen Yusi the woman master likes? I remember she should be called girlfriend, right? Lin Luo's face turned red. Not yet, but maybe in the future. Lady Kagaya, even more curious, asked. Master stayed here all night. When you see must be very important to master, right? Lin Luo slowly exhaled. You're right, she is very important to me. Not just her, my brother is also very important to me. In this life, I must strive to become stronger, to protect those who are very important to me. I will never let the regrets of my previous life happen again. Let's go, Lady Kagaya. We're off to level up in Sacred Forest. There are also items there that can restore Master of Wishes energy. The two arrived at the Martial Arts Square, where two inspectors guarded the entrance to the Sacred Forest instance. The instance his level was too high, so two inspectors were specially assigned there to prevent impulsive entries. As expected, as soon as Lin Luo approached, one of them immediately warned in a serious tone, this instance is highly dangerous, requires level 30 or above, and you can't quit halfway. Don't do anything foolish. Lin Luo knew talking wouldn't get him in, so he took out his identity proof. The tall inspector looked at it skeptically and said strangely, who is Dark Emperor? I don't know him. The short, fat inspector immediately exclaimed in surprise, are you the Dark Emperor who has taken down multiple global notices in a row, Lin Luo put away his ID and said, can I go in now? The short, fat inspector glanced at Lady Kagaya beside Lin Luo and suddenly showed a knowing expression. He whispered, brother, listen to my advice. Don't lose your life just to show off with a girl. Each person can only be revived three times in the instance. You must cherish it. Lin Luo, with a smile, thank you for your concern. I'm truly confident, not showing off. The short, fat inspector watched Lin Luo leading Lady Kagaya into the instance, his face suddenly showing admiration. This young guy, with his thin arms and legs, doesn't look it, but he's so fierce at such a young age. It's a pity. Since ancient times, heroes have struggled to overcome the beauty pass. Once inside the instance, Lady Kagaya was incredibly fierce. Throughout the journey, Dark Emperor didn't even need to make a move. She single-handedly took down all the monsters, despite appearing very innocent and naive in front of Lin Luo, as if she were a little girl untouched by worldly affairs. Her combat fierceness was in no way inferior to Dark Emperor, and unlike Dark Emperor's violent aesthetics, Lady Kagaya's swordsmanship was light and graceful. Every strike was precise, without any superfluity, like a captivating dancer swaying elegantly. Lin Luo watched, thoroughly enjoying the sight, his heart racing. He couldn't help but remember the short, fat inspector's words about him showing off with a girl. Based on the current situation, it seemed more like the girl was leading him. In no time at all, Lady Kagaya had killed all the monsters in the area, clearly still wanting more. She begged her master to quickly take her to the next area. Lin Luo slowly stood up from the lounge chair, recalling that the main storyline of this secret realm was hundreds of ugly monsters attacking the elf tribe. The player's task was to help the elves defend their camp. In the middle of the plains, there was an area filled with huge stones. This Stonehenge was guarded by the elves, where they built simple walls and wooden huts. In the depths of the stone forest, there is a sacred tree, and on that tree grow the fragments of the god-given crystal that we need. They have the power to restore the energy of substitute. Lady Kagaya, puzzled, asked, so, if we help the elves protect the camp, will they give us this as a thank you gift? Lin Luo revealed a mysterious smile. Normally, that's the case. After repelling the ugly monsters, the elf tribe, in gratitude to the player, offers some of the god-given crystal shards. However, in a previous life, players discovered another strategy. If they let the ugly monsters completely break through the elf defenses before killing them, they could get more crystal shards. After all, getting a small part of the reward isn't as satisfying as monopolizing the resources. Three hours later, the siege battle had reached its end. The elves' camp was eventually breached, and the remaining elves left with resentment. Seeing this, Lin Luo knew the time was right, and immediately led Lady Kagaya to charge in. By then, then, a large number of ugly monsters had entered deep into the stone end. They slowly piled up together, merging into a level 35 boss ugly monster leader. When he saw the crystal clear crystal shards on the sacred stone tree, his lips couldn't help but betray his excitement tears. Suddenly, a flash of sword light passed by, directly severing the hand it was about to use to pick the shards. Lin Luo, leading Lady Kagaya and Dark Emperor, appeared before it. Lin Luo looked at the sacred stone tree with satisfaction. The number of crystal shards was even more than he remembered. This time, it was really a windfall. The ugly monster leader immediately roared in anger. It didn't expect this puny human to dare snatch its food. Lin Luo ignored it, casually picking a god-given crystal shard. A mysterious power instantly flowed into his body through his arm. The long silent master of wishes in his body finally awakened again. Master of wishes, intoxicated, said, What abundant energy. Thank you, my master. Seeing this, Lin Luo immediately made a wish. Dark Emperor's subsequent attacks were all critical hits, continuing until the ugly monster leader was dead. Master of wishes turned serious. In the 
book of wishes started flipping rapidly. As you wish, my master, I will fulfill all your desires. Dark Emperor immediately felt a surge of violent energy within him, but the ugly monster leader didn't give him a chance to react, directly slamming a fist towards him. Lin Luo, seeing this, shouted, Lady Kagaya, switch to Rainy Knight, umbrella form, block all attacks for Dark Emperor, let him focus on output. Lady Kagaya's long sword quickly transformed into an umbrella, which she then swung in front of Dark Emperor. The huge fist smashed hard on the umbrella surface, producing a deafening sound. Unfortunately, this attack didn't cause any harm to Lady Kagaya. Other smaller ugly monsters also took the opportunity to attack the two substitutes. The duo ignored these minor monsters, quickly dodging the attack and then swiftly lunging towards the ugly monster leader. Soon, a fierce battle ensued. Your substitute Lady Kagaya caused 200 points of real damage to the ugly monster leader. Your substitute Dark Emperor inflicted 370 points of critical damage. Seize by force activated successfully, successfully seizing 27,900 points of life. The ugly monster leader was toyed with by the two substitutes, and Dark Emperor permanently seized its life points. Angered, it swung its meteor hammer furiously, temporarily repelling the two substitutes. It then took a deep breath, gathering a powerful energy in its mouth, ready to unleash its strongest move, Destruction Death Ray. Lin Luo, seeing this, was shocked, immediately ordering Lady Kagaya to enter full defense mode. A massive energy beam fiercely struck Lady Kagaya's umbrella, blasting the two back continuously. After the dust settled, Lady Kagaya's black umbrella was surprisingly unbroken. The two substitutes slowly stood up from behind the umbrella. In rainy night, umbrella mode, Lady Kagaya's defense instantly rose to 430 points, and as long as the energy wasn't depleted, her life points wouldn't drop at all. Even so, Lin Luo also broke out in a cold sweat at that moment, because although Lady Kagaya didn't suffer any harm from that strike, her energy was at rock bottom, and even Dark Emperor co-defending with her appeared to be energy depleted. Lin Luo, pondering for a moment, immediately plucked a few crystal shards from the sacred stone tree. Dark Emperor instantly felt a continuous replenishment of energy. The ugly monster leader, weakened after releasing its ultimate move, was in a perfect state for a counterattack. Countless fist shadows directly pummeled towards the ugly monster leader's big head. Seized by force activated successfully, successfully seizing the skill destruction death ray, successfully seizing 36 points of agility. The ugly monster leader ultimately let out a frustrated roar, being blown into bits by Dark Emperor. Congratulations to the player for killing the ugly monster leader, earning 9,500,000 experience points. Killing a monster 13 levels higher yields 1,400% experience points. Such a massive amount of experience points directly activated Lin Luo's third professional skill. All swords returning to the source. Countless sword energies, like a mini storm, swirled around him. Just then, the ugly monster leader, which had just been blown to bits, started to wriggle. The next moment, they all attacked Lin Luo. A disdainful smile appeared on Lin Luo's lips. Perfect opportunity to test out the new skill. Suddenly, dozens of flying swords appeared behind Lin Luo, instantly annihilating all the ugly monsters. He allocated all the attribute points he gained from leveling up to agility, raising his agility to 204 points, significantly increasing his attack speed. Lin Luo was very satisfied with the all swords return to origin. Its attack power was now comparable to a regular substitute. Fighting monsters himself was indeed exhilarating, but just one second of attack had completely drained his mana. Lin Luo remembered that mages have skills to accelerate mana recovery and absorb mana from monsters at their first job change. He firmly decided that when he had time, he would acquire such a skill. He didn't want such a powerful skill to only serve as a lifesaver, limiting its use to critical moments. Lin Luo's gaze then shifted to the nearby sacred stone tree, laden with leaf-like god-given crystal shards. He wondered how much return this would bring him. Lin Luo swung his short blade, releasing a burst of gale sword energies, instantly slashing down all the crystal shards from the stone tree. After counting, he found he had collected over 100 pieces, equivalent to 5 SSS grade super energy crystals. With a few more days of grinding, he believed his substitutes wouldn't lack energy for a long time. This was also an advantage of clearing levels beyond his own. For others, there might not have been so many god-given crystal shards. Next was the exciting 10 consecutive spins on the Wheel of Destiny. He had finally saved up 20 lottery tickets to use all at once. Master of Wishes slowly appeared beside Lin Luo, gracefully bowing to him. Lin Luo, embracing Master of Wishes, jokingly scolded, Master of Wishes, you need to put in more effort this time. If you draw two life-extending pills like last time, it won't justify the large amount of energy I spent reviving you. Master of Wishes replied somewhat awkwardly, Wise Master, I suggest you add a limiting condition to your wish. Seeing this, Lin Luo stopped joking and waved his hand, summoning the Wheel of Destiny. My next 10 consecutive spins must yield an item of S grade or above, and the S grade or above items drawn will not include life-extending pills. As the 20 pointers on the Wheel of Destiny gradually halted, 20 beams of light, each a different color, burst forth. Lin Luo, with sharp eyes, caught one golden ray 
ray of light. Excited, Lin Luo exclaimed, it's a golden legendary SS grade cooldown crystal, able to permanently reduce the cooldown of talents by half. He eagerly crushed the crystal, allowing him to plunder two S grade or higher talents per day. Lin Luo then turned his attention to an A grade crystal he had just drawn. His gaze slightly froze. It's a magic power crystal that increases intelligence, able to boost intelligence by 10 points. Master of Wishes whispered in Lin Luo's ear, respected master, I suggest you allocate this intelligence crystal to the person who needs it most. Lin Luo looked at his three substitutes. Their intelligence stats from left to right were 180, 30, and 1. It seemed the person who needed intelligence the most didn't require him to choose. Although he planned to use the intelligence crystal for Dark Emperor, he still didn't quite understand the role of intelligence attribute for substitutes. Dark Emperor's intelligence is 1, hence he lacks the ability to fight autonomously, which he could understand. But Master of Wishes' intelligence is as high as 180, theoretically 18 times higher than an average person's intelligence. Although he reacts quickly and offers many good suggestions, it doesn't seem overly extraordinary, and Lady Kagaya's intelligence is 30, supposedly three times that of an average person, but aside from being obedient and sensible, she seems like a simple little sister, not noticeably smarter than him. Master of Wishes noticed Lin Luo's confusion and quickly explained, Respected Master, intelligence does not equate to wisdom or cleverness. It reflects in the speed of problem solving. The higher the intelligence value, the stronger the ability to learn knowledge and gain experience, which manifests in combat and communication, among other aspects. Lin Luo's mind sharpened, so it seems Dark Emperor, who relies purely on brute force, really needs these 10 points of intelligence the most. With the rising levels of monsters, he is no longer as powerful as he was when bullying weaker enemies. Thinking this, Lin Luo directly threw the intelligence crystal to the wooden Dark Emperor, and then made him crush the crystal. As Dark Emperor absorbed the energy of the intelligence crystal, his originally dull eyes instantly became lively. Then, he uttered a deep and majestic voice, Master, thank you for your grace. Dark Emperor will clear all obstacles in your path. Lin Luo, hearing this, said with relief, you have finally grown up. From now on, I won't need to control your combat. Lin Luo then threw several limit crystals to Master of Wishes, raising his energy limit from 300 points to 355 points, increasing the upper limit for making wishes. After handling everything, he asked Master of Wishes to help him locate the next target for plunder. With his talent cooldown time halved, he could use the plunder talent again in the evening. Meanwhile, in the teaching building of the first high school. A high school student named Yang Yong was being bullied by his classmates. Every day he suffered insults and beatings from these people, especially the leader, Zhou Yu. Previously, Yang Yong always endured it, but now he has awakened the A-grade talent of wrathful sin, reaching his limit of tolerance. All the humiliations he suffered before, he planned to return them today, but the next moment, his fist was tightly entangled by a dark green tentacle. Zhou Yu's back unexpectedly sprouted several tentacles. Zhou Yu, with a cold expression, said, Did you think you were the only one who had your talent level? If it weren't for finding substitutes too ugly, I would have killed you long ago. Yang Yang's face instantly changed. He hadn't expected Zhou Yu to have awakened an S grade talent, but how could it be that such a bully had such power? Is it really true that as the Tao rises one foot, the devil rises ten? His limbs were tightly entangled by the tentacles, rendering him incapable of any resistance. All the events that occurred during this time were directly transmitted into Lin Luo's mind by Master of Wishes using the power of the Book of Wishes, and Zhou Yu was precisely Lin Luo's fourth plunder target. At that moment, Zhou you patted the immobilized Yang Yong. Little Yang, why aren't you raging now? Why don't you summon a substitute to clash with me? The minions around Zhou Yu became arrogant again, starting to mock and ridicule Yang Yong. Yang Yong found that no matter how much strength he exerted, he couldn't break free from Zhou Yu's grasp, filling his heart with despair. Just then, a pleasant female voice came from the door. What are you doing this late? A beautiful female teacher in professional attire walked over. You can't bully other students just because you have a strong talent. Yang Yong plunged in despair, saw the female teacher, like an angel appeared before him, his eyes filled with a glimmer of hope. However, Zhou Yu's face darkened, his eyes flickering, having already exposed his S-grade substitute green demon, he had nothing to lose. Zhou Yu immediately controlled his tentacles to tightly entangle the female teacher, lightly caressing her cheek. Chen Xiaoyun, a recent university graduate and a new teacher at the school, was youthful and attractive, and had always been the object of admiration for these high school students. Zhou Yu certainly wouldn't miss this opportunity. He couldn't help but slowly rub his tentacles on Chen Xiaoyun's legs. This action immediately flushed Chen Xiaoyan's face. Her eyes filled with terror as she looked at Zhou Yu. Zhou Yu, with a lecherous gaze, ignored Yang Yang's curses behind him and reached out towards Chen Xiaoyan. Suddenly, numerous cold sword lights flashed, and the green demon's tentacles were neatly severed. A stunning figure appeared behind Zhou Yu, instantly taking down his two minions. Zhou Yu became tense and shouted angrily, Come out! Stop playing tricks! Lin Luo emerged from the shadows with a smile, accompanied by Lady Kagaya in a maid outfit, calmly asking, You're Zhou Yu, right? Zhou Yu, looking displeased, asked, who are you? I don't recall our 
school having any awakeners above S grade. Lin Luo ignored him and directly summoned Master of Wishes, wishing for Lin Luo to be invulnerable for 30 seconds. The battle with Bai Honglai had made Lin Luo realize one thing, never underestimate any awakener above S grade. Zhou Yu, feeling ignored, became furious. I'm talking to you. Who exactly are you? Lin Luo glanced at the enraged Zhou Yu and said indifferently, don't worry about who I am. You have three seconds to think about your last words. Zhou Yu was intimidated by Lin Luo's imposing demeanor. A surge of nameless rage instantly rose in his heart. I'll give you three seconds to get lost. Don't think you're something special just because you've awakened a substitute. A smile curled on Lin Luo's lips. So, this is your last words. Ha, huh? go, Dark Emperor. Zhou Yu was startled and questioned loudly. How many substitutes do you actually have? Dark Emperor, of course, didn't hold back, covering him in a barrage of fist shadows, mercilessly striking the green tentacles. But in the next moment, his fists got stuck to the tentacles, and more tentacles swiftly entwined him completely. Zhou Yu's face lit up with joy. What's the use of having many substitutes? They are all just useless substitutes. Suddenly, numerous sword lights flashed before his eyes, and the green demon's tentacles were once again neatly severed. Lady Kagaya's face was filled with coldness, chopping the green demon into segments, falling to the ground like squid tentacles, writhing. Seeing this, Zhou Yu finally panicked, realizing his much prided substitute wasn't invincible. He lost his previous arrogance. Pointing at Yang Yong, Zhou Yu pleaded, It was Yang Yong who bullied my brother first. I just wanted to protect my brother. I didn't do anything wrong. Yang Yong quickly and loudly accused Zhou Yu of lying. Lin Luo, uninterested, said indifferently, Stop struggling with your pathetic nature. Once you have power, you only do bad things. You're bound to be caught by the inspectorate sooner or later. You might as well die by my hand for more value. Zhou Yu, seeing Lin Luo unmoved, turned to Chen Xiaoyun for help. Teacher Chen, save me. I have awakened an S-grade talent. I am a national key training object, supposed to be admitted to a key university. In a flash, Lady Kagaya appeared behind Zhou Yu, and a bloodline suddenly emerged on his neck. Zhou Yu collapsed to the ground, gradually ceasing to breathe. Lin Luo walked past his body, saying coldly, She's your teacher, yet you dare to treat her like this. If you can do this to your own teacher today, you might kill someone tomorrow. You truly deserve to die. Lin Luo then activated the talent plundering ability, seizing Zhou Yu's talent. After taking Zhou Yu's talent, just as Lin Luo was about to check the talent details, he was interrupted by a grateful Yang Yong coming up to thank him. Yang Yong, somewhat shyly, inquired about his name. Lin Luo, naturally not revealing his real name, introduced himself as Dark Emperor, then coolly turned around with Lady Kagaya and left. At this moment, Lin Luo was unaware. He gained an enthusiastic young fanboy. After bidding farewell to Yang Yong, Lin Luo visited a restaurant to check the newly acquired talent. Perfect fusion merged the essence of any two existences, perfectly fusing them together, retaining their respective characteristics, lasting for five minutes. Cool down. One day, this talent is straightforward, but its specific effects need to be verified through actual practice. Then, with a light shout from Lin Luo, come out, green demon. Ten smooth green tentacles suddenly extended from his back, freely dancing in the air, resembling a giant octopus with its tentacles flaring. This feeling was somewhat fresh, like having a dozen freely extendable arms, and even the sense of touch was perceptible. He hadn't expected a substitute of this form, and quickly opened the green demon's attribute panel. The green demon had a skill called Elastic Skin, providing 50% damage reduction from blunt weapons, spells, and similar attacks, but increasing damage taken from sharp weapons by 20%. Lin Luo instantly understood why Dark Emperor's attacks were ineffective, likely due to this skill's influence. Lady Kagaya, however, handled him in just a few strikes. Although Green Demon's attack power isn't high, it can launch over a dozen attacks at once, and has defensive bonuses against spells, making it a decent substitute. With the matter satisfactorily resolved, Lin Luo decided to relax for a while. He summoned all his substitutes, planning to treat everyone to fried chicken. The restaurant he was at happened to be a famous chain, specializing in fried chicken burgers. After ordering, he contentedly put down his phone, since there was still space in the spatial crystal. He ordered extra, just in case. A young female waitress approached him with a puzzled look. Hello, sir, did you order 300 chicken rolls, 300 spicy burgers, 200 tender beef quintets, 100 codfish burgers, and 400 colas? Lin Luo replied with a smile. Yes, I placed the order. I know your store might not have that much stock, so just bring as much as you have. Lin Luo remembered that in six months, food would become scarce globally. Since the spatial crystal preserves food as it was at the moment of storage, it was better to stock up on supplies. Suddenly, Lady Kagaya pointed outside and said, Master, look, the fog outside seems to be getting thicker. Lin Luo felt the white mist looked familiar. He quickly checked the government announcements on his phone, then exclaimed in shock, It's a mouse-level disaster, an interdimensional bug catastrophe. But why is it happening so much earlier? In my previous life, the first mouse-level disaster should have occurred in seven days. Just then, the restaurant's door was suddenly flung open, and a young woman, crying bitterly, holding a child, rushed in. She kept crying out to save her child. Suddenly, a tentacle emerged from behind her and tripped 
dropped her to the ground, revealing a spider monster as big as a truck. The spider had two crimson compound eyes on its head, and its ferocious mouth beneath was constantly dripping saliva. The fallen woman looked terrified, but no matter how much she struggled, she couldn't break free from the spider's grasp. Suddenly, Lin Luo rushed over and shielded her behind him. The woman, seeing the tall young man before her, felt a sense of security, but in the next moment, to her shock, the young man walked straight towards the spider monster. Lin Luo summoned Master of Wishes. Master of Wishes, I wish for the fog within ten meters around me to dissipate. Immediately, a white light dispersed the fog. Lin Luo swung his short blade, cleaving the spider in two with a swift sword energy. Congratulations to the player for killing a level 7 long-legged spider, earning 640 experience points. This disaster, though calamitous for humanity, also presented opportunities. Killing these monsters might not yield equipment or items, but it did grant four times the experience points. Several large locusts flew out of the fog, but before they could get close to Lin Luo, they were instantly slain by Lady Kagaya. Dark Emperor even went alone into the swarm of insects. Meanwhile, on the other side of the city, in a district overrun by numerous insects, someone curiously observed these bug beasts through the thick fog, saying, Old you, these insects are so huge, how much experience can we get from killing them? Yu Taijia responded, The bonus from killing monsters above our level, plus the fourfold experience, should be quite substantial. This wave of disaster is catastrophic for ordinary people, but for us, who have awakened powerful talents, it's an opportunity to widen the gap with them. A person in a blue Taoist robe spoke, It's impressive, someone who came back from the future, you know so much. Yu Taijia turned to Lu Yu, the first player to second awaken in the original timeline, was supposed to be six days after the mass awakening, but yesterday, that dark emperor advanced to his second awakening early, so the first mouse level disaster also came ahead of schedule. But no matter, I found you guys to create the strongest team by utilizing the phototaxis of these insects. We can quickly reach level 20 and complete our second awakening. After saying this, he smashed the window in front of him and led everyone into the fog. On Lin Luo's side, after killing a wave of insects, he realized that these insects seemed to have temporarily overcome their phototactic instinct and dared not come too close. Lin Luo asked Dark Emperor and Lady Kagaya to guard the door. While he turned to check if his ordered food was packed, he went to the counter, packing all the hot burgers and fried chicken into the spatial crystal. Then, he solemnly advised, for the next 10 days or so, it's unlikely anyone will come to rescue you. Outside, there are insects that bite and eat people everywhere. Don't go out, just wait for help here. The food and water in the store should be enough to get you through. After I leave, immediately turn off the lights. The light will attract the insects in the fog. Seeing Lin Luo about to leave, the young woman hurriedly grabbed his arm. Can you take me with you? My child is too young to die here. Seeing this, others also gathered around, pleading with Lin Luo to take them away. Lin Luo's gaze showed no hesitation as he refused everyone, then pushed the door and stepped out of the restaurant. Suddenly, he felt a pang in his heart, a foreboding feeling, as if he had overlooked something important. He suddenly remembered that history had changed due to his rebirth, and the disaster had come early. Would Sister Wen be able to handle the sudden danger? At that moment, a girl who was working late was trapped in the fog, attacked by an alien hunter as tall as a two-story building. Suddenly, a figure in a blue Taoist robe descended from the sky. Behind him, an imposing elder appeared, who gently waved his hand after forming a Taoist gesture, immediately crushing the alien hunter to the ground. He cheekily said, Fair lady, you are safe now. I, Lu Yu, am a contemporary Taoist master. How will you repay me? Just then, a beam of light suddenly obliterated the suppressed alien hunter. It was the exclusive skill of the SS grade substitute emperor's eye, life and death control. Three more figures emerged from the fog. We Tailang politely said, Taoist Lu, let me help you. Lu Yu's eyes turned cold, clearly displeased with him for openly snatching experience points. Seeing this, Wei Tai Lang hurriedly apologized with a smile. After all, he couldn't afford to offend someone who had awakened an SSS grade talent. Qin Fan, walking at the back, suddenly said, Now that this monster is dead, I believe you won't mind if I make use of it. He slowly approached the alien hunter's corpse, muttering softly, For your king, rise again. The shadow beneath the corpse seemed to come alive, eventually forming a pitch black alien hunter. Lu Yu exclaimed, So this is the SS grade talent Shadow Monarch. Ha, old you, the partners you found are quite impressive. Yu Tai Jia inwardly smiled bitterly. His new teammates were indeed more terrifying than the next. Gathering them together, he wasn't sure if it was a good or bad thing. Meanwhile, not far away, a figure was rapidly approaching. Wherever he passed, the fog dispersed, and the nearby insects were instantly killed. Lu Yu and the others naturally noticed Lin Luo running wildly in the fog, prompting an interested conversation. His monster killing technique is clean and efficient. Is he leveling up by killing monsters like us? But ordinary people don't have the ability to predict the future. He must be someone who has awakened a decent talent, trying to fight his way out for survival. At this moment, Lin Luo had no time to pay attention to his surroundings, rushing towards Sister Wen's house based on his past life's memory. In no time, he had arrived at Wen Yusi's doorstep and immediately started knocking on the door without hesitation. As long as he confirmed that their family was safe, he could 
go back to sleep peacefully. Footsteps quickly sounded from inside the door, followed by a familiar and anxious voice. Is when Yusi back? As the door opened, a middle-aged woman with a worried expression appeared. When Yusi's mother, Li Junjie, seeing Lin Luo at the door, she showed a look of surprise. While Lin Luo was moved to see his benefactor after many years, he focused on the key point in her words. Auntie Li isn't sister when at home? Li Junjie, looking worried, said, It's way past the end of the workday, and when Yusi still hasn't returned, I don't know if something happened. There's no signal on the mobile phone with this fog outside. What should we do? Lin Luo, hearing this, instantly felt a bad premonition. Sister Wen must be in trouble, he quickly said. Auntie, don't panic. I'm going to look for Sister Wen now. You promise me, no matter what noise you hear, do not go out or open the windows. After speaking, he rushed into the thick fog with determination in his eyes. Given the current situation, anyone without awakened combat talents or inherited instance powers would have a slim chance of survival against the insects. Sister Wen, you must be safe. As Lin Luo sped through the fog, he suddenly heard Dark Emperor's voice. Master, there's someone here. Not far away on the ground, lay a disfigured corpse, dressed and shaped like a city female office worker. Lin Luo's face darkened. The disaster is indeed perilous. I must find Sister Wen quickly. He immediately summoned Master of Wishes, asking him to reveal Wen Yusi's location. The Book of Wishes rapidly flipped, its pages shimmering with golden light. Moments later, Wen Yusi's location appeared in his mind, about a three-minute distance from him. At a 24-hour convenience store nearby, the exterior was swarming with giant locusts. Wen Yusi and her friend Wen Wen were crouching in a corner, along with a store employee, Mei Da Ji, who muttered fearfully, It's over. It's the end of the world. Everyone's doomed. No one can escape alive. His gaze towards the two girls gradually changed. Attracted by Wen Yusi's youthful beauty, he suddenly lunged at them. The two women, frightened, stood up from the ground. Wen Yusi, with an unhappy face, asked, What are you trying to do? Mei Da Ji spread his hands and said, There are so many insects outside that could rush in at any moment. We could die at any time. Of course, we should enjoy ourselves in time. Wen Wen stood up, cursing furiously. Are you sick? Look at yourself in the mirror. Mei Da Ji pushed Wen Wen away, grabbing Wen Yusi's hand, mockingly saying, I didn't even fancy you. I want her. Wen Wen immediately rushed over to pull him away, but Mei Da Ji, annoyed, pushed her back fiercely. This push made her stumble and faint after hitting the corner of the wall. Mei Da Ji slowly unbuckled his belt, leeringly saying, I'm still a virgin, girl. Let me die without regrets. Wen Yusi, caught off guard, was pinned against the wall, terrified, struggling desperately. Seeing her resist, Mei Da Ji slapped her, causing her to briefly lose consciousness. Suddenly, the glass door shattered with a loud crash, followed by the sound of glass shards hitting the ground. Mei Da Ji turned pale and looked back, wondering if insects had invaded, but a fist swiftly flew past, sending Mei Da Ji flying. A figure appeared behind Wen Yusi, carefully holding her in his arms. Wen Yusi exclaimed in disbelief, Is it you, Lin Luo? Lin Luo looked at her tenderly, apologizing, Sorry, Sister One, I'm late. Mei Da Ji, seeing it was a person and not insects, grew bolder and began to curse at Lin Luo. Lin Luo glared coldly at him. In the next moment, Dark Emperor appeared, gripping Mei Da Ji's neck and lifting him like a dead dog. Lin Luo, with a chilling gaze, asked Mei Da Ji, Tell me, what did you do to her? Mei Da Ji, panicking, started to scream for help, but the grip on his throat tightened, reducing him to fearful whimpers. Lin Luo's eyes, filled with a murderous aura, pinned him down. I'm giving you one last chance. What did you do to her? As Dark Emperor's grip tightened, Mei Da Ji's face turned from red to blue. At Lin Luo's command, Dark Emperor threw him to the ground, giving him a chance to speak. Mei Da Ji crawled over, clinging to Lin Luo's legs, begging for mercy. Brother, I was wrong. I swear I didn't do anything to your woman. Please spare me. I'll turn myself in right away. Mei Da Ji promised. Lin Luo's expression changed, and a cruel smile formed on his lips. Spare you? All right, I'll give you two choices. First, I kill you now. Second, you go outside. Maybe you'll have a slim chance to survive. Mei Da Ji, with a flickering gaze, said, Thank you, big brother, for sparing me. I'll go outside. Watching Mei Da Ji walk out, Lin Luo's voice turned icy. Master of wishes, I wish that within five minutes, 200 insects will appear around him. Mei Da Ji, feeling secretly relieved as he escaped the store, thought the convenience store's glass was already broken. It was only a matter of time before insects would come in. Everyone will die soon. He knew a nearby place to hide. Suddenly, a giant locust pounced on him, and more insects emerged from the fog, swarming over his body, frenziedly gnawing at him. To his death, he couldn't understand why he was so unlucky to encounter so many insects as soon as he stepped outside. Lin Luo gently stroked Wen Yusi's hair, reassuring her, Sister One, don't be afraid. It's all over now. Wen Yusi looked up at Lin Luo and asked softly, Did you really let him go? Lin Luo replied gravely, Of course not. How could I easily forgive someone who dared to harm the most important person to me? Only by letting him die under the fangs of countless insects can he repay a fraction of his sins. Wen Yusi's face blushed at his words, just as she was about to ask more. Lady Kagaya suddenly appeared beside them, curiously asking, Master, is she the one who will become your girlfriend? Lin Luo was dumbfounded and scolded loudly, Lady Kagaya, don't talk nonsense. Wen Yusi, already shy, turned away, unwilling to look at Lin Luo anymore. Lady
Lady Kagaya's face showed confusion as she earnestly asked, Master, don't you like her? You said before that she's very important to you. At this point, Lin Luo was both embarrassed and excited, but he didn't deny Lady Kagaya's words. Instead, he chuckled sheepishly, seeing Wen Yuxi also looking at him. He became somewhat flustered. Just then, Wen Wen, who had fainted, suddenly woke up. Wen Yuxi quickly rushed over and hugged her, checking her injuries. Finding that she was mainly just having a headache, she carefully helped her up. Seeing Lin Luo, a stranger, Wen Wen clung to Wen Yuxi in fear. Wen Wen, don't be afraid. He's my good friend Lin Luo. He saved us. Wen Yuxi reassured her, blushing. Wen Wen looked at Lin Luo curiously, wondering when Wen Yuxi had such a handsome friend. Lin Luo, seeing both girls were safe, urged them to leave quickly. There's no barrier at the door, and soon a swarm of insects will fill the place. Half an hour later, Lin Luo escorted Wen Yuxi to her home. Upon opening the door, Li Junjia greeted Wen Yuxi with a look of joy, and the mother and daughter hugged tightly, both somewhat shaken. After settling down in the living room, Li Junjia served Lin Luo fragrant tea, praising him profusely. Lin Luo, slightly embarrassed, scratched the back of his head, noticing her father's absence. Wen Yuxi asked her mother about him. Li Junjia's expression turned worried. Your dad, a public servant, was notified to stay on duty at the office today. I hope he's safe. Lin Luo paused, realizing the timing. Wen Yuxi's father worked in a service center with open doors, easily accessible to insects. They probably didn't know about the insects' phototactic nature. If the building's lights attract insects, isn't that like an open invitation? He thought. Suddenly standing up, Lin Luo spoke seriously. Auntie Li, Sister Wen, I must go to Uncle Wen's office right now. Wen Yuxi immediately objected. No, it's too dangerous outside. There are insects everywhere. Lin Luo looked at her tenderly, reassuring. Don't worry, Sister Wen. I will bring Uncle Wen back safely. Half an hour later, Lin Luo arrived at the Hang City Service Center. Faint cries and shouts could be heard inside, suggesting he was too late and insects had already attacked. Lin Luo suddenly felt an oppressive aura and looked around cautiously. Mouse-level disaster creatures shouldn't be higher than level 20. Just then, part of the office building's upper left corner collapsed, revealing a shadow dozens of meters tall in the fog. Lin Luo gasped in shock. It's a wormhole guardian. He gazed at the wormhole guardian, slightly dazed. Creatures and disasters typically come through wormholes, and those near the wormholes, called wormhole guardians, have higher levels. Killing a wormhole guardian can stop the corresponding area's disaster. Before the world descended into chaos, the authorities had once released information. Anyone who provides the specific location of a wormhole guardian and contributes to its siege will receive extremely generous rewards, Lin Luo thought, staring at the wormhole guardian, a level 30 plus behemoth. He wondered if it was luck or misfortune, but his priority was to save Uncle Wan. Inside the office building, Guan Bong and Wen Jiangwo were hiding from the insects, barricading themselves in an archive room with cabinets against the door. The two soon to retire men trembled in fear, sweating profusely as the door dented under the insects' attacks. Never in their lives had they faced anything more bizarre and terrifying than this day. Suddenly, the window above Wen Jiangwo's head shattered, causing both men to scream in terror. But after a while, no insects came through the window, and the banging outside ceased. Then, Lin Luo's voice came from outside. Uncle Wen, it's Lin Luo. Are you in there? Wen Jiangwo looked astonished. Lin Luo? They hurriedly opened the door and saw Lin Luo, short blade in hand, smiling as he greeted them, with the bisected insects on the ground no longer struggling. Meanwhile, at Hang City's Martial Arts Square, Yu Taijia, clenching his teeth, lamented, Sacred Forest, the secret realm for energy acquisition, was cleared by Dark Emperor before us. Yu Taijia had sacrificed many global firsts to gather these strongest awakeners, and now Dark Emperor had beaten him to the realm. The secret realm's display showed, clearing player, Dark Emperor, time, 1 hour 52 minutes, remaining refresh time, 18 hours. Qing Fan, curious, asked, he spent so long, did he solo the realm? How did his substitute sustain the energy for such a prolonged battle? Yu Taijia, grim-faced, explained, normally, the energy consumption isn't this high, you can just help NPCs at the right time. I just didn't expect someone to beat us to it, Liu Yu speculated. Old Yu, seems like Dark Emperor is also a time traveler like you. Yu Taijia, face ashen, admitted it was likely, but couldn't fathom how Dark Emperor had stolen his power and traveled with him. The only shortcoming of us, the SS class and above awakeners, is that substitute requires a massive energy supply, but now's not the time for that. I know other realms for energy farming. I refuse to believe he's cleared them all. And as for Dark Emperor, I'll have to confront him sooner or later. Just then, Lin Luo had just escorted Father One home. Father One, still dazed, couldn't grasp the day's surreal events, finding it unbelievable that such terrifying insects were easily chopped up by the young man his family had been supporting since childhood. Lin Luo, noticing Uncle One's confusion, quickly explained, Uncle One, I've awakened an S-level talent, which enables me to kill those insects. Insects. Uncle Wen, surprised, responded, Is an S-level talent that strong? We've also awakened talents. For example, I've awakened a D-level talent, Strength, which accelerates physical recovery. I can now climb five floors without getting out of breath. Anti Wen also shared with interest, I've awakened a C-level talent, Wisdom. It has greatly improved my memory. They say it can even
can prevent senile dementia. When Yusi, with her hands affectionately on Lin Luo's shoulders, boasted, I'm even more impressive than you two. I've awakened an A-level talent, heavenly voice. It makes my singing more beautiful and can restore everyone's stamina and add various beneficial effects. At this moment, Andy Wen curiously asked Lin Luo, Lin Luo, what talent did you awaken? Lin Luo paused for a moment, knowing that directly asking about someone's talent was taboo in the current environment. However, he understood Andy Wen's simple concern and curiosity, and replied, Andy, I've awakened an S-level talent called Heavenly Justice. It's a talent powerful offensive capabilities. When Yusi, with an expectant look, said, Lin Luo, you're so amazing. I'm too scared to go on dungeon runs. Take me with you when you have time. Uncle Wen, somewhat emotional, remarked, every generation has its talents. Lin Luo, your social status in the future will be very high. Make sure to seize this opportunity. Responding to the future father-in-law's advice, Lin Luo naturally promised to do so. Uncle Wen, standing up tiredly, said, Lin Luo, you've worked hard today. It's getting late, and we have a guest room. You can stay here for the night. Lin Luo was momentarily stunned and felt somewhat embarrassed. Seeing this, Wen Yusi quickly grabbed his hand to show him the room. Uncle Wen watched Lin Luo's back, lost in thought. Back then, it was because he saw the two of them being overly intimate that he talked to Lin Luo, leading to the self-conscious Lin Luo voluntarily cutting off ties with the Wen family. He never imagined that the orphanage boy would become their family's savior after many years of separation. The next morning, Lin Luo woke up from his sleep feeling somewhat bewildered by everything that happened the previous day. He had not only saved Sister Wen and Uncle Wen but also ended up staying at their house. The warmth he felt was comforting but he knew it wasn't time to relax yet. There's still a lot for him to do. His brother is still waiting for his rescue. The priority now is to strengthen himself, to seek out the next S-level or higher substitute as soon as possible. In a building, a middle-aged man is focusing on conjuring his substitute. With an evil face, he declares, with the fear and despair of all beings, I summon you, fear demon king. Behind him, endless evil flames surge up, and the terrifying figure of a demon king-like entity instantly appears. The middle-aged man looks at the figure with joy, laughing somewhat maniacally. Is this an SS-level substitute? My very own SS-level substitute. The fear demon king looks down at the man and whispers, my servant, go forth, sacrifice the fear and despair of living beings to me. I will grant you invincible power. After leaving the one family, he immediately begins choosing his next plunder target. Among the 15 executives of the Smiling Coffin organization, Lu Ming and Zhou Yu have already been eliminated by him. There are two others confirmed to have awakened S-level talents, Hu Jin Ming and Guo Tao. Lin Luo immediately instructs Master of Wishes to send him Hu Jin Ming's location. Master of Wishes quickly harnesses the power of the Book of Wishes. Moments later, a person's coordinates appear in Lin Luo's mind. He turns his head, his profound gaze seeming to pierce through the endless fog to a certain figure. He leaps from the rooftop and swiftly heads in that direction. The joy of the hunt brings a genuine smile to Lin Luo's face. Meanwhile, Hu Jin Ming, still immersed in the madness of summoning an SS-level substitute, is oblivious to the impending danger. His little daughter, somewhat timidly, calls out, Daddy. This brings him back from his frenzy. He crouches down and gently touches his daughter's head, calming her fears and softly saying, Daddy's going out to buy you something tasty. Will you wait for me at home? The daughter's fearful gaze never dissipates. She is genuinely scared of her father's substitute. After speaking, Hu Jin Ming, accompanied by the fear demon king, walks out the door, heading into the fog without hesitation, leaving his daughter alone, frightened in the corner. Soon, the fog resounds with the screams of insects and the fear demon king's wild laughter. As the fear demon king rampages, Hu Jin Ming's level also starts to skyrocket. This feeling of leveling up effortlessly and quickly, without moving a muscle, drives him into further madness. He's actually a tragic figure. His family was poor, but always happy and harmonious. Then, his wife ran off with a wealthy person, and he constantly faced ridicule and humiliation. He became despondent, until the moment of global awakening, when he awakened the extremely rare dual S-level talent. Emotion detonator, summoning the SS-level substitute. Fear Demon King, with the fear and despair of all in Hang City. Just as Hu Jin Ming revels in his triumph, the Fear Demon King's deep voice resonates. Servant, my power is still too weak. The souls of these creatures are too feeble. Their fear is not even enough to fill the gaps between my teeth. Hu Jin Ming, somewhat bewildered, asked, then where can we find enough fear? The Fear Demon King, with a seductive voice, replied, only the fear produced by human souls is the most delicious nourishment for me. Hu Jin Ming, upon hearing that it wanted to kill humans, fell into hesitation. A wisp of green fog kept eroding his mind. Again, the persuasive voice of the Fear Demon King resonated, my poor servant, don't you yearn for great power? Do you want to continue being mocked and trampled by others? The green light in Hu Jin Ming's eyes intensified, a surge of impulse instantly suppressing the hesitation in his heart. He immediately grinned and said, as you command, master. Soon, they arrived at a residential area. The fear demon king smashed open the door of a house. Inside, a man was tightly holding his wife and newborn child, looking at the fear demon king in front of them with a face full of horror. Seeing the family of three, Hu Jin Ming's clear eyes suppressed the green light and he cautiously
Ashley said. Scaring them should be enough to generate fear, right? There's no need to actually kill people. Just then, the man charged forward with a knife. The fear demon king, ignoring Hu Jinming's plea, directly pierced the man's abdomen and then licked the fresh blood from his hand with enjoyment. The fear of humans is indeed much sweeter and more delicious than that of monsters. Hu Jinming, pale-faced, watched all this and timidly muttered to himself, what exactly is the substitute I've nurtured? Fear demon king was crouching on the corpses, constantly sucking in a green breath from him. Moments later, its greedy gaze shifted to a woman nearby. Hu Jinming hurried forward to stop him, loudly condemning Fear Demon King's actions. Seeing this, Fear Demon King sneered menacingly and pushed him against the wall. The scorching breath sprayed directly onto his face. Servant, I heed your summon. Born from the despair and fear of all beings absorbed from the depths of your soul, I am the catastrophe. Put away your hypocritical kindness. When I have had my fill, I will naturally grant you invincible power. After saying this, he tossed him next to the woman, threatening, You kill this woman. Hu Jin Ming, upon hearing this, was instantly horrified, turned around, and tried to flee the scene. Fear Demon King let out a strange laugh and a wave of green mist drifted towards Hu Jin Ming, enveloping him. Hu Jin Ming's expression became dazed. His face quickly contorted into a ferocious look, his eyes completely filled with a dim green light. He picked up a dagger from the ground and with a sinister laugh, stabbed at the terrified woman. Seeing her fate sealed, the woman desperately pleaded for her child not to be harmed. Hu Jin Ming, without any hesitation, immediately filled the room with the woman's wails of agony. Just at that moment, the fog in the corridor swiftly dissipated and a figure swiftly entered the room. It was Lin Luo who arrived belatedly. In the room, a man covered in blood was sinisterly stabbing a woman's body repeatedly. The mutilated woman had already stopped struggling. Seeing this, Lin Luo coldly snorted, and without hesitation, ordered Dark Emperor to kill the man. Just then, a figure appeared behind Hu Jin Ming. Lin Luo looked up and saw a strong demon with wings on its back and horns on its head standing there, facing Dark Emperor's iron fist. The opponent easily caught it with one hand. Fear Demon King's gaze towards Lin Luo was filled with greed, and his sinister voice rang in his ear. I didn't expect you to have such a powerful soul. Such intense emotions would be delicious if immersed in despair. After speaking, he surprisingly punched Dark Emperor away. The always victorious Dark Emperor was now being suppressed and his life points started crazily dropping. Lin Luo felt a warning in his heart just as the demonic figure approached him. The ferocious punch was so swift it almost caught him. A second class advancement legendary master, off guard, facing fear Demon King's sudden heavy punch. A sudden umbrella appeared in front of Lin Luo. Lady Kaibaya's timely appearance shielded him from this fatal blow. The next moment, a series of thunderous noises exploded in his ears, the umbrella precisely blocking all attacks, withstanding the demon's attacks without breaching Lady Kagaya's defense. As Fear Demon King grew impatient, a burly figure suddenly appeared beside him, landing a heavy punch on his face. Fear Demon King staggered, roaring furiously, I am the mighty Fear Demon King. All of you, get out of my way. Two strong substitutes instantly started a frenzied brawl in the living room, without any defense or dodging, just a crazy onslaught of punches. Seeing Dark Emperor again being suppressed. Lin Luo immediately ordered Lady Kagaya to assist. Her umbrella instantly transformed into a long sword, and she swiftly charged in. Fear Demon King suddenly burst out with a ring of demon energy, shocking both substitutes at the same time. Lady Kagaya accidentally got hit by a punch. Her frail body instantly flung away. Lin Luo hurried to catch her, just as Fear Demon King raised his fists high, ready to smash them down on Dark Emperor. Lin Luo raised his head, his eyes flickering with cold light, and with a light shout, several green, slick tentacles instantly extended from his back. Fear Demon King's fists were instantly entangled by tentacles, followed by even more tentacles tightly binding Fear Demon King. Just as Fear Demon King was about to burst out with demon energy, a long knife fiercely stabbed into his chest. Fear Demon King roared unwillingly, green flames suddenly engulfing his body. He bellowed, I will not die. I am the fear in the hearts of all beings. As long as fear exists, I will come back. His muscular demonic body directly turned into a wisp of green flame, then scattered with the wind. As Fear Demon King dissipated, Hu Jin Ming, who was just laughing crazily, stiffened. The green light in his eyes faded, returning to clarity. When he saw the scene before him, he let out a hoarse scream. Seeing the mutilated woman, he collapsed to the ground. He thought he had gained the power to turn his life around, but he didn't expect to unleash a terrifying murderous demon, even being manipulated by it. As Hu Jin Ming was lost in thought, a faint voice sounded in his ear. Do you have any last words before dying? He suddenly looked up, only to see the man who killed his substitute coldly looking down at him. He nervously said in a hurry, Last words? What are you going to do? This is a misunderstanding. I didn't mean it. I was just controlled by my substitute. Lin Luo slowly pulled out his short blade and said calmly, Murder for murder. You know this principle, don't you? And as long as you are alive, your substitute could cause chaos again. Hu Jin Ming, with a vacant look, murmured, You are right. Murder for murder is only fair. He stood up, speaking in a daze. I only have one request. My daughter is waiting for me to return home. Please tell her that daddy has gone to a faraway place, and I will come back 
back to find her when she grows up. As soon as he finished speaking, Lin Luo stabbed his chest with a knife, whispering in his ear, Don't worry, I will take care of your daughter. Hu Jin Ming showed gratitude in his eyes, thanked him, and then breathed his last. Looking at Hu Jin Ming lying in the pool of blood, Lin Luo also felt a bit melancholic. Just then, a prompt sounded in his ear, Your S-Class talent plunder has been activated. Please choose one among the target's attribute values, talent effects, skill effects, and soul power to plunder. Lin Luo, thinking of the opponent's demonic-like substitute, which required his three substitutes to kill, was sure it was at least an SS-class talent, and from the looks of it, that demonic substitute seemed to backlash and control its master. If he chose soul power, he could directly advance an S-class talent to SS-class, but if he chose talent effect, he would obtain that powerful substitute. Lin Luo quickly made his choice. He wanted that demonic substitute. Hu Jin Ming couldn't tame it, but that didn't mean he couldn't successfully plunder the target's talent. Congratulations on obtaining the SS-class talent. Emotion Igniter. A surge of unprecedented, tumultuous power crazily rushed into his body. Lin Luo immediately opened his attribute panel. The SS-class talent Emotion Igniter actually has two exclusive skills. The first skill, Emotional Induction, allows sensing the emotions of all beings within a 300,000 meter radius. The second skill, Emotional Detonation, can intensify the emotions of any being within a 300,000 meter radius by tenfold. Lin Luo looked at the talent attributes, somewhat baffled, although the skill range is ridiculously large, and the ability to control others' emotions is not bad. It doesn't seem to have any special features. Lin Luo immediately thought of that demonic figure. It seems this talent, like his rainy night talent, has its main abilities in the substitute. He then eagerly summoned the substitute corresponding to the emotion igniter talent. Suddenly, the sky thundered loudly, and a pink figure descended from the sky. In front of Lin Luo suddenly appeared an expanding and contracting pink flesh ball. Lin Luo was again baffled. What is this? Where's my demonic substitute? He looked bewilderedly at the flesh ball in front of him, and quickly checked its attributes. He was dumbfounded. The new substitute is named Fetal Movement. Apart from its full growth value, the other attributes are basically zero, and it only has one skill called Gestation. The substitute will absorb a certain main emotion decided by the host within a 300,000 meter radius as nourishment to be born. This means the substitute is not fixed in terms of abilities and forms, but requires the host's subsequent decision. Lin Luo decided to try it. He slowly closed his eyes, then activated the new talent skill Emotional Induction. His spirit began to extend infinitely. The emotions of all beings in Hang City reflected in his perception. He seemed to hear countless voices. Various emotions accompanied by these chaotic voices appeared one by one. Helplessness, fear and despair, anxiety and anticipation. Soon, the five-second duration of emotional induction ended. Lin Luo broke out in a cold sweat, gasping loudly. Although it was only five seconds, the emotions and voices of millions of people were terrifying. Perhaps only high spirit mages could bear it without burden. Now, Hang City is sealed by white fog, filled with negative emotions everywhere. Among these negative emotions, fear is one of the strongest. This might also be the reason why Hu Jin Ming chose this emotion as the nourishment for the substitute. Unexpectedly, it gave birth to the terrifying Fear Demon King. Although Fear Demon King is powerful, it is a double-edged sword. Since the direction of the substitute's gestation can be chosen, it's worth sensing the emotions of beings a few more times. There might be better choices. After understanding all this, Lin Luo put away the new substitute and asked Master of Wishes about the location of Hu Jin Ming's daughter. The little girl was scared, huddled in a corner, waiting for her dad to come home. Just then, a knock on the door sounded, and Lin Luo's voice came from outside. Xin Yue, are you home? I am your dad Hu Jin Ming's friend. Upon hearing Lin Luo's voice, Xin Yue immediately opened the door for him. Soon after, the two got acquainted, and little Xin Yue happily ate the food Lin Luo brought her. After a moment of thought, Lin Luo spoke. Your dad is protecting Hang City and can't come back for now. He asked me to take care of you during this time. Xin Yue's eyes were full of admiration. I knew my dad was very powerful. Lin Luo turned to her and voiced his earlier doubt. Xin Yue, you just opened the door for me directly. Weren't you afraid I was a trickster? Little Xin Yue innocently said. My talent is emotional induction. I can feel that brother Lin Luo has only pure goodwill. So, Xin Yue believes. Brother Lin Luo really is my dad's good friend. Lin Luo was slightly startled upon hearing this. He didn't expect Xin Yue and her father, Hu Jin Ming, to awaken similar emotional talents. After staying a while longer, Lin Luo reminded little Xin Yue not to open the door for strangers and then left. Lin Luo decided that once the fog cleared, he would send Xin Yue to Wen Yusi's home. Wen's mother, now retired, might be willing to adopt this orphan girl. In this chaotic world, people like Hu Jin Ming, unable to control themselves, are not uncommon. Conventional norms are no longer so important. For Lin Luo, only by becoming stronger can he protect those he wants to protect, to master his own destiny. Even if his hands are stained with blood, he will never give up. The voice in Lin Luo's heart gradually shifted from hesitation to determination. I, Lin Luo, am neither a punisher of justice, nor a tyrannical dictator. I aspire to be the maker of rules. At the entrance of Hidden Spirit's temple in Hang City, five figures
figures slowly arrived. It was Yu Tai Jia and others. He expressed his doubt. Why isn't it here? According to my past life memory, the wormhole guardian should appear here. Liu Yu suddenly spoke from the side. I think before we find the wormhole guardian, our five-person team needs a leader. What do you think, old Yu? Yu Tai Jia's face was expressionless, merely asking noncommittally. It seems Master Liu wants to be the leader. Liu Yu's gaze was fixed on Yu Tai Jia. We are probably the most powerful awakeners in Hang City. Who else but me for the position of leader? I can defeat the other three alone. Only you. I cannot see through. Yu Tai Jia said indifferently. Although we are the highest talented group in Hang City, Dark Emperor has a significant head start. He might not be weaker than us. Right now, we need my past life memory to lead the way to level up. It's better for everyone not to fight among ourselves. Liu Yu spoke with disdain. Aren't you overestimating that Dark Emperor? Didn't you say there was no such person in your past life? We both have SSS class talents. How could he be stronger than us? Since you're so wary of this Dark Emperor, if I kill him for you, take back his power, wouldn't that prove I'm more suited to be the leader than you? Yu Taijia dodged Liu Yu's reaching hand and said indifferently, Dark Emperor took away my power, and I will take it back sooner or later, without your interference. Liu Yu thought sinisterly, I wonder if killing Dark Emperor will allow me to take Yu Taijia's power. At the very least, I can't let him successfully recover his strength. Once he regains his full form, gaining control won't be so easy. Yu Taijia paid no more attention to Liu Yu and turned to the young man at the back of the team, saying, Can you sense any trace of the wormhole guardian nearby? The young man closed his eyes, and in a moment, everything within a kilometer was within his sight. After a moment, he opened his eyes and slowly said, The strongest life form within a kilometer is a level 7 giant pincer mantis. Yu Taijia became somewhat annoyed and said, It seems the early mouse level disaster has caused a shift in the position of the dimensional wormhole, making it different from my past life. Meanwhile, Lin Luo returned to the Hang City Administrative Center. His target was the wormhole guardian he had accidentally discovered earlier. Lin Luo looked up at the towering mountain-like monster and swallowed hard. This wormhole guardian is so huge, probably even one of its leg hairs is thicker than my thigh. As Lin Luo approached, the attribute panel of the Void King insect appeared before him. This insect, clearly only a level 34 D-class creature, had life points 10 times that of the level 35 ugly monster leader he had encountered earlier, and both of its skills were about summoning minions, a ruthless tactic of an insect swarm. No wonder Hang City had to deploy a large army and missiles to kill it in the past life. But apart from its summoning ability, it doesn't seem as powerful as it looks, and such high attribute values are the perfect target for Dark Emperor's seize by force. Thinking this, Lin Luo immediately summoned his two substitutes. Without a word, they charged at it. Dark Emperor directly used his exclusive skill, seize by force. But unexpectedly, the normally invincible seize by force failed this time. Lin Luo was slightly taken aback, not expecting the wormhole guardian to be so resilient. At that moment, the huge figure in front of him let out a thunderous roar, and the next second, the continuous, piercing noise of an insect swarm resounded in the fog. A dense army of insects quickly surrounded Lin Luo. Although they were low-level creatures, being overwhelmed by the swarm would make it hard for Lin Luo to protect himself, but the sheer number of creatures also meant a massive amount of experience points, which he didn't want to give up easily. Lin Luo immediately ordered Dark Emperor and Lady Kagaya to abandon the Void King insect and attack the insect swarm. Lady Kagaya elegantly weaved through the swarm, gracefully reaping the lives of these hideous creatures, while Dark Emperor's punches exploded, turning the low-level insects into a mist of blood and remains. But the swarm was too numerous, and no sooner had they slain one group than another surrounded them. Even Lin Luo himself was quickly encircled by the swarm. Dozens of swift sword auras swept through, rapidly harvesting the lives of the insects. The sounds of gaining experience points were incessant. At that moment, a helicopter broke through the clouds, with Yao Mushi on board doing a report. The cameraman's face changed slightly, pointing to a spot in the sea of clouds. Yao Mushi quickly looked over. Ladies and gentlemen, we can see a giant gigantic creature emerging from the sea of clouds, and it seems there is someone fighting with it on its back. For the first time in her career, Yao Mushi lost her composure on camera, exclaiming loudly, This is incredible. Although the world has entered the era of global awakening, most people are not of a high level. How could someone be battling such a mountainous creature? Let's fly closer. We must capture this hero's valiant image, and let Hang City and the entire world witness his bravery. Standing on the back of this colossal creature were Lin Luo and two others. The number of insects was overwhelming, causing Dark Emperor and Lady Kagaya to rapidly consume their energy. Lin Luo immediately crushed a god-given crystal fragment to restore their energy, then ordered the two substitutes to continue slaughtering the insects without relenting. He also joined the battle himself, but the swift sword aura consumed too much mana, forcing him to buy a large number of mana potions through the game interface to replenish the rapidly depleting mana. However, continuing the fight like this was not cost-effective. Just then, he heard the leveling up sound in his ear. Lin Luo's mind lit up, and he joyously allocated all eight attribute points gained from leveling up to agility, and all four skill points to all swords return to origin. After the upgrade, all swords return to origin would automatically generate seven swift sword aura 
auras per second and could recall the emitted sword auras unharmed, significantly reducing mana consumption. After level 24, the power he could bring out of the instance also reached 67%, greatly enhancing his combat capabilities. Lin Luo knew it was time for a decisive battle with the Void King insect to show who rules Hang City. The two substitutes led the way, firmly protecting Lin Luo behind them, and the trio charged from the back of the Void King insect towards its head, leaving no survivors in their path. With Lin Luo's roar, Dark Emperor and Lady Kagaya attacked the Void King insect directly, while he himself unleashed Swift Sword Aura to clear the path for the two substitutes. Lin Luo summoned the Master of Wishes, wishing that no insect could come within a meter of him. Then he abruptly pulled out an A-Class Raging Crystal and used it on the Green Demon. An A-Class Raging Crystal, now worth 3 million on the game market, could increase a substitute's abilities by 30% for 2 minutes. Dozens of green tentacles burst out from his back, twisting together with the Swift Sword Aura to kill the surrounding insects. For a time, he alone held back all the monsters, creating a perfect output environment for the two substitutes. Dark Emperor and Lady Kagaya crazily attacked the head of the Void King insect. Suddenly, the giant body of the Void King insect started to tremble, nearly throwing the unsteady Lin Luo off. At that moment, the life points of the Void King insect had dropped to 30%, and it unhesitatingly used its innate skill, King Insect Roar. An invisible sound wave rapidly spread out within 10 kilometers, causing both resting and feeding insects to stop and turn towards their king. Seeing this, Lin Luo's face changed, ordering Dark Emperor and Lady Kagaya to continue attacking the king insect, not giving it any chance to breathe, while he unhesitatingly charged into a sea of insects several times larger than before. At that moment, the helicopter in the sky was still circling. Yao Mushi's voice was choked as she reported, Ladies and gentlemen, in this moment of crisis for the entire city, our people have not surrendered. Look, on the back of that monster, someone is fighting bloodily with the creatures. Yao Mushi vowed to herself, she must bring back the entire heroic story of these heroes. She wants everyone to know who was fighting desperately for them in their most desperate and darkest moments. Such heroes should be remembered by all people. At this point, Lin Luo had gone completely berserk in battle, not even having time to check how much life the Void King insect had left. He felt his attacks slowing down, and his thoughts becoming sluggish. He had accounted for everything but forgot one thing. His physical strength was limited. Just then, the Master of Wishes appeared unsolicited, chanting softly, let me completely restore my great master's condition immediately. With the turning of the Book of Wishes, the somewhat slow-thinking Lin Luo finally regained clarity. He hurriedly thanked. Thank you again, Master of Wishes. The Master of Wishes respectfully bowed. Great Master, alleviating your worries is my duty. I shall take my leave now. I wish you great success in battle. At this moment, Lin Luo felt exceptionally energetic, his eyes shimmering with a cold chill. Void King Insect, let's continue and see who can endure longer. Lin Luo leaped high, slashing his knife towards the insect's head. Dozens of green tentacles instantly extended from his back, fiercely penetrating the King Insect's body. The exclusive skill of the Storm Swordsman, all swords returned to origin, was pushed to its limit. With a huge roar, the Void King Insect screamed in agony. Its last bit of health was wiped out at that moment, and its massive body fell unwillingly to the ground. The Void King Insect emitted a piercing, earth-shattering wail, forcing everyone in the helicopter to cover their ears. Lin Luo exerted all his strength to slash at the neck of the Void King Insect, severing its head. The decapitated Void King Insect fell powerlessly to the ground. All around the globe, six consecutive announcement notifications rang in everyone's ears. Congratulations to the player Dark Emperor for being the first player globally to kill a wormhole guardian. Reward, one ten spin lottery ticket for the Destiny Wheel. Reward, ten fate crystals. Hearing the global announcement, Yao Mushi's eyes widened in surprise as she looked at Lin Luo standing on the insect's head. The first in the world? Could that young man be Dark Emperor? She then said with a choked voice. Incredible. I never imagined that the legendary figure who achieved multiple global accomplishments would be from our Hang City. The helicopter descended lower, hovering above Lin Luo. Seeing Lin Luo's youthful face, Yao Mushi blushed, thinking, I never thought the legendary Dark Emperor would be so young. I hope I get a chance to personally interview this legendary hero. At this time, Lin Luo also heard a series of notifications in his ear. Congratulations, player. You have gained 43,200,000 experience points. Congratulations on successfully killing the wormhole guardian Void King Insect. Congratulations on winning a 10 consecutive spin on the Fate Wheel and 10 Fate Crystals. Congratulations on leveling up to level 27. Fate Crystals can increase the success rate of equipment forging by 50%. A great item for forging equipment. 10 Fate Crystals equal a 100% success rate for forging equipment 5 times. With the death of the Void King Insect, all the insects suddenly panicked, no longer attacking the enemies in the air, but scattered and disappeared into the vast fog. After the battle with the Void King Insect, there were not many fragments of the God-given crystal left, urgently needing replenishment. The Sacred Forest should have refreshed by now. Lin Luo planned to quickly go replenish some in the afternoon. Lin Luo, leading a group of substitutes, walked leisurely on the fog-covered streets. He casually picked an Audi A4 and instructed, Master of 
wishes, open the car door, take me to martial arts plaza first, and then locate Ji Wanying's position. Meanwhile, in a factory on the outskirts of Hang City, several young men with cameras were filming a girl with lecherous smiles. The girl, named Ji Wanying, had been wandering in Hang City since the destruction of country R a year ago. Now, she had been tricked into this factory by several wealthy second-generation youths under the guise of filming a TV show. One of the rich youths said with a lewd smile, the TV show we're filming is exactly the kind you excel in. You're a famous actress, and it's an honor to work with you. As soon as he finished speaking, the men started tearing off Ji Wanying's clothes. Ji Wanying fell to the ground with tears streaming down her face, her hands tightly protecting her chest. Filming movies and TV shows had always been her dream, but she never imagined she would end up here. Deceived by these wealthy youths and her agent, what these wealthy youths didn't notice was that behind them, a figure with black wings and horns, the charming queen, was slowly materializing. After about an hour of driving, the group arrived at a factory. Lin Luo looked at the locked iron gate of the factory, filled with doubts. Why would a woman be in such a desolate factory? Lady Kagaya cut the lock chain with one strike, and then Dark Emperor slowly pushed open the heavy iron doors. What they saw was not an abandoned factory, but rather a bar that had been modified. Lin Luo's gaze swept casually and saw several men lying haphazardly on the ground, lifeless, but with sleazy smiles on their faces. Lin Luo suddenly felt a sense of crisis rising in his heart. He quickly uttered in a low voice, I wish to be immune to any harm for the next 30 seconds. Right after he spoke, he felt a surge of pink energy rushing towards him. In the next moment, he lost consciousness and fell backward. Lady Kagaya quickly caught him, calling out loudly, Master, what's wrong with you? At that moment, a figure appeared in the distance, accompanied by a series of enchanting and seductive laughs. Seeing this, Master of Wishes immediately instructed Dark Emperor to stay and protect Lin Luo, while he and Lady Kagaya rushed into the mist to apprehend the troublemaker behind them. Meanwhile, Lin Luo, dressed in a suit, appeared in a room. The room was pink, and a wedding photo of him and Wen Yusi was placed on the cabinet. Lin Luo exclaimed in surprise, Have I already married Sister Wen? As Lin Luo pondered in confusion, the door echoed with two familiar voices. Wen Yusi and Lady Kagaya, dressed in seductive gowns, walked in. Their expressions were somewhat different from usual, a flirtatious demeanor with blushes on their faces, like ripe fruits ready to be plucked. This erotic scene made Lin Luo instantly spurt out a mouthful of blood. He felt an uncontrollable surge of emotions rising within him. Why are you here? And even dressed like this? While Lin Luo was slightly dazed, when Yusi and Lady Kagaya had already snuggled up to his side, accompanied by an alluring scent, their hands gently caressed him. Back in the factory, the succubus queen narrowly dodged a strike from Lady Kagaya. Sweating profusely, she retreated to a position 20 meters away from Lin Luo. She had almost died at the hands of this young girl. Lady Kagaya and Master of Wishes were looking at her coldly. Lady Kagaya, with a frosty face, threatened, quickly lift the control over my master, or the next strike will end your life. She then turned to Master of Wishes, asking, didn't the master already wish to be unharmed? Why has he lost consciousness now? Master of Wishes, also puzzled, flipped through the Book of Wishes in his hand. It's strange. The wish has already been fulfilled. Why was the master still attacked? The succubus queen covered her lips with her hand and chuckled softly. Because no one has attacked your host. I'm actually helping him. Your master is currently living a dream come true, enjoying himself in a blissful world, until he's completely exhausted. 